Hello, hello, and happy Saturday slash Sunday to all of my Virgos. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Virgos, okay, it's about to get real. Let's get into your reading. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my Virgos as it relates to every area of their life, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality, and where my Virgos need to take action. Virgos, some wonderful things are about to happen for you all. And I want to make sure you all are really clearing the energy, clearing the space. So i got some questions for you I need you to write down. You ready to write them down? Good. First question, are you ready to define what, no, what you no longer need or want with a practical and objective eye? Do I need to repeat it? As I'm laying these cards out on the table, let me adjust the camera here so you can see the cards that I'm laying out here on the table. Because I want you all to write these questions down. You all are earth signs. You need to see it so you can ask yourself some questions. One, are you ready to define what you no longer need or want with a practical and objective eye? That's the first question. The reason I ask you that because you all are at a higher frequency now. I need you all to be very, very detailed with your, your questions. You all are analytical signs. You all are mutable signs. You all are used to adapting to situations. But now that you're leaving some things behind and you're starting to ask for new things and new things are coming your way, opportunities to make more money, meet p new people, the whole nine yards, because you're at a higher frequency now. For some people, it's going to be scary. You know, you're still trying to... You're still trying to feel your way through this new, this new realm that you're in. And for some people, this is what you're leaving behind, the sadness. Some of you all may feel a little nervous about leaving some people, some energies behind. But for some of you all, you all are ready to ascend higher. This is what you left behind. You're no longer sad anymore. You got up from this place. You learned number five being in a pivotal point in your lives. You've gotten up from this space and you're ready to move on. You've been investing in yourselves and you're about to see it in your money. So that's the first question that I have for you. The second question that I have for you is can you define what's yours to fix and what's not yours to fix in your life? What is yours to fix? Remember, we have no control over anybody else. We're not other people's gods. When you start feeling like this is you tapping into your strength and this is the Empress card. When you start feeling like I'm the only person that can fix or save that person, somebody has a God complex. You are not their God. I don't care who they are. They can be your adult child. They can be your parent. They can be your, your favorite cousin from back way back in the day. They can be your colleague. It doesn't matter who they are. We are not other people's gods. I cannot even reiterate that enough because a lot of times people feel like, well, I, I can fix them. I know them better than anybody else. No, you don't. You don't know them better than God does. So you cannot fix them. That's the first question, right? That's the second question. The third question is, do you feel any fear? around being fully self-sufficient and independent. The fourth question is, how could you learn more from nature? Get outside, get outside. How can you learn more from nature? One of the things that I, uh, I, I went to, uh, I love going to the botanicals. I love going to the botanical gardens um, in New York. And just seeing how beautiful nature is just seeing how free, um, how free things are. And I mean, just like all the things we can learn, like the, the wind moves is unrestricted, no matter what, it just moves or it's there for us to just inhale and exhale. When I see how the sun shines, it just shines no matter what is going on, like what, no matter what, it's just there shining. It could be raining outside. It could be snowing, hailing, it doesn't matter what the weather is. The sun is going to rise and what shine. So what I'm saying with, with this, you all going outside in nature and information just coming to you. What can you learn from nature? Do you have to overanalyze things? Do you have to worry about things? Do you have to question everything? Some things just is, right? You can't, you can't change anybody. You're at a higher frequency now. Um, this right here, the Empress, you may love a person who the strength card is attached to Leo. This judgment card is attached to Pluto and this Empress card is Venus. You may love a person. We know the Venus and Mercury are retrograde right now. Um, those are two of the planets that's retrograde right now. 
somebody may love somebody, but they're at a higher frequency, right? You may have even given birth to somebody, but you there you're at a higher frequency, or you may be a parent to somebody, you're at a higher frequency. So now at this higher frequency, you know, in the past you may have been sad about some things, but not anymore. You've changed your perspective and you're focusing on growing. You're focusing on growing and you're focusing on welcoming new energies in. Again, at this higher frequency, some people are nervous because they don't know what it, it's like being the new person in school. If I had to give an analogy, new in school, you're the new person in school, you don't really know anybody, so now it's time to make friends. How do you make new friends? First and foremost, like I said, go outside in nature and ask God, come out of your mouth and say, God, how do I make, how do I meet new people? How do I fill this void, this thing now that I'm at a new frequency? How do I fill this, you know, so that I'm not, I don't go back to being sad anymore? How do I fill this, right? Because the depth of the emotions, deep, 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 super deep emotions. But again, you're going to see it in the growth of your money and you're going to see it in opportunities to travel, opportunities coming across your way, left and right. I see somebody sleeping better. I see somebody being a lot more cautious about, um, being very cautious about, where's that card? Okay. I see somebody leaving a situation and not looking back, right? So this is where you all are. And I got to walk you all through this a little slowly because every time everyone, I pull up the cards, I'm seeing somebody leaving some leaving somebody behind. But as the moon starts to wane, it's going to get easier and easier to not look back, right? I see somebody putting their emotions to the side and focusing on vetting every energy that comes their way. Like you're now analyzing every spirit that comes your way because of the depth of the pain that was attached to this energy right here. Some of you all may look at that energy as a snake energy, but snake also represents death rebirth, right? You had to get bitten. The intensity had to be there so that you could have a rebirth. Yes, moving forward. Again, like I said before, you're going to see it in every, you're going to see it show itself in everything that you want. You had to go through that, right? I see somebody sleeping better. Again, this is to you taking your power back. I see somebody in a posture of gratitude, really just being grateful to God that this, it happened. A lot, nobody wants it to happen the way that it happens, but it happened. And now you're at peace. Now you're a real, real peace with it. When you sit down and think about it, and whatever it is, only you know, Virgo, only you know. But when you sit down and think about how long you've been agonizing over something, you know, I can't believe that was my favorite aunt. And look, she did this to me. I can't believe that was my favorite uncle. I can't believe that was my adult child. I can't believe that was my best friend who did that to me. Because again, you all are the I analyze sign. You're very intelligent. You're analytical, honest, very reliable. You all are perfectionist, very loyal, hardworking, practical, kind um, signs. And so once you get past the I can't believe stage and believe it and say, okay, if I have to write it down, I needed to leave it behind, but that situation needed to happen. Because again, as I see more money, somebody's been praying for more money. Some people have been pr praying for more opportunities. Remember those things that you've been praying for. Some of you all have been meditating on, but you've been meditating on what was done wrong to you to cause you to be sad. Some of you all have been meditating on people and places and things being snakes when that wasn't the thing to meditate on. It was supposed to be meditating on this rebirth. But now some of you all are seeing it crystal clear. I was actually going through a rebirth. And sometimes the rebirth takes longer than you thought it was going to take. That thing you've been praying for and asking for, I'm, I'm waiting on some money. I'm waiting for this lawsuit. I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting for this job to come through. Things that are attached to your money, things that, things that are attached. It, for some people, it, was, it, was, it felt like it was moving in slow motion. And so adjustments are required, right? So again, that full moon brought everything full, fully into focus for you all to analyze it so that you can see it. But that's how you had that breakthrough, that burst through so that you, guys, you can ascend higher, right? So you're not looking back. You're just being more careful about what you allow coming across your path from now on. Yep. So something that you've been waiting on, some kind of money or something that you've been waiting on is a, you're one step closer to that because again, the emotions, you're not returning to those emotions again. That was the thing that would have given you your breakthrough was that chanting. This number eight right here, like I said, chanting. I want you all to create a chant that's going to move you a step closer to meditating and manifesting exactly what it is you want because this vision right here and this is attached to a, a product goods or services that also it's the money exchange number 
somebody is one step closer to getting the money that they've been waiting on because again you had to go through this rebirth and it was real 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 intense for somebody but whatever you've been waiting on it is so close it is very very close to you so continue being strong do not look back don't call the person a snake. You don't need to gossip about them. Nothing bad at all. You don't want to lower your, you don't want to, you don't want to go into a lower frequency by talking about anybody. You want to keep your vibrations high. You know how like, um, I, I got to be clear with this because you, some people, somebody may think, oh, I'm just sharing this with somebody or whatever. You know how people will come up to you in church sometimes gossiping under the guise of prayer. Oh, well, did you know sister or brother so-and-so was going through X, Y, Well, no, actually, I didn't know it until you just came up to me and gossiped about it. That's something that you you can't fool God with this. That's what I'm saying. This is a real internal shift and a real internal change. Somebody wants to ascend higher. You got to leave all of that stuff behind, the gossiping, the hurt, the all this. This is, I, I, I forgive you for what you did to me, but I, it's, this is really out of sight, out of mind. It, as soon as I feel like talking about that person in a negative way, change the channel. Talk about something else, anything. A dress is on sale, such and such as having suits on sale, anything, anything other than them. So that you can get closer and closer to that thing that you've been waiting on, okay? That is what I have for you, Virgos. I'll see you next week. Bye.